exciting episode of Air DoorDash. It is currently 646, June 30th, 2024. Here we are, leaving the farmhouse in Buncombe and heading towards Marion for our shift this morning. I just finished filming my outro from last night. I definitely forgot to do that when I got home. And we're ready to go, guys. It's gonna be an exciting shift, and I'm excited to show it to you. That being said, I'm a dumb dumb, and I saw a Grubhub shift that was only available for 10 more minutes, and I went ahead and took it. And then I realized how far out of town I was, and now I'm hoping Grubhub doesn't abandon my own shift, even though it was only 10 minutes long, and lower my schedule completion rate, which would affect me being Premier Grubhub. Hopefully it doesn't happen. All right, it is now 722. I grabbed the keys that had a battery in it that wasn't failing. It is now 727. We have traveled one block. And we are now at Country Inn and Suites. And they did not put a room number. Since there is not a room number, I am hoping, I'm praying for a miracle that it is going to the worker at the front counter. Otherwise, we have a hefty phone call ahead of us. And it's a little early in the morning for that stuff. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna lock that car. You better believe. Alright, it is now 7.33. Panera is calling. Or maybe that's just the uh, the notification sound of DoorDash, I don't know. And speaking of notification sounds, ever since they changed it where I am now, no longer top dasher, I'm platinum status dasher. My app has a new notification sound. I don't know why, but I can't change it. And I had a custom notification noise before and it was very loud and obnoxious. And man, I sure loved when it would go off and I was getting an order in front of other dashers and it, they definitely heard it, you know. Now, it's this soft melody, and it sounds like the app is trying to serenade me. DoorDash Daddy! Chill. Also, guys, the amount of people commenting on my short about the bad part O'Reilly's tried selling me is absolutely mind-boggling. And the amount of people that are commenting saying that I'm lying and that it never actually happened, and I'm using a picture of an old part I took out of my own car for internet clout, is even more mind-boggling. Yeah, it happened. <laughs> a lot of people are commenting saying they've seen it themselves. That's crazy that people think I'm lying. Oh, guys, I, I was just delivering over by this place. Might not look like much to you, but this is where me and my wife had our first apartment together. We weren't even married yet. <laughs> We'd been together for one year, met in high school, and it was right there that we decided we were going to try living together. It lasted six months. And every time I think about when I set those keys on the counter and locked the door and I never could go back in, it was gone. We were leaving. That part of my life was closed forever. I still think about it, guys. <laughs> and every time I do, 
I just think, man, time sure does fly by. <laughs> it really does. Treasure the moments, guys. Treasure the moments. All right. Anywho, it is now 7:58. We got a Cracker Barrel. I think came right at me. Y'all saw it. All right, well, it has taken us to the ER at the hospital, but it's hand to registration desk. We can handle it. Don't let me go looking all over the hospital for a patient room. That is crazy. Alright, it is now 8.26. I ended up stopping at Burger King to get me a burger. Because it's the only place I can get me a cheeseburger this early in the morning. Don't judge me! I just don't like the breakfast food. Not that I'm going to have time to enjoy my food because I got an order at Dunkin's while I was in the drive-thru. So we are going to head to Dunkin's. No. It, it can wait. It can wait. Well, it took a couple minutes, but they got our order ready, and hopefully it's as big as a bag as this bag is big. Let's go. I left the drink carrier in the front. All right, now I got it. We're doing it. You better stay away from my donuts, kitty kitty. Well, from the customer's donuts, I mean. All right, it is now 9.02. DoorDash gave us another order, heading back into town from Johnson City, north of here. So, the chain quest. And because lack of parking, we gotta park on the drive through side of McDonald's. Ten miles away. Ten miles away. Order delivered. You know, when I picked this order up, there was five DoorDash orders on the screen at McDonald's. And I was lucky enough to get this one. Thank you, thank you. All right, it is now 10.52. We ended up having to go by the house and go to the bathroom, and then I grabbed something to eat. And then right as I was finishing up, I finally got an order, but uh, and my break was a little longer than I anticipated. 
<laughs> but uh, I wanted to relax and watch the rest of my YouTube video. I needed to know what happened during the debate between Trump and Biden. Interesting stuff. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to head into McDonald's. I just got this order here. A smoothie and a coffee. I did not think I'd be in here 10 minutes. Oh well. Next time. Alright, it's now 11.22. DoorDash has given us a Long John Silver's order. We ended up getting an add-on for Wendy's while we were waiting inside of Long John Silver's. Said I'd get you next time, grub hub bag. All right guys, that was unprofessional of me. Grub hub bag has been there through thick and thin. On the DoorDash bag that broke on me the first week I was a dasher, my grub hub bag has been here for almost a year and I can still use it every day and it still keeps my food hot. The Wendy's has been delivered. Ah! 12.02. Guys, I'm at Panera, behind the church rush, waiting on this Grubhub order. Now the Grubhub order, the name on it, is a Nixia with an emoticon heart. Whatever that means. On the shelf it says in blank, in for Nixia I guess, and then blank because it can't do emoticons. I just waited in there for 20 minutes, because I looked at the shelf and didn't see my name on it. And then I went back and did a double take and realized that was, that was my order. <laughs> anyway. It's okay. We're, we're doing okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, well, Grubhub sent us to Johnson City McDonald's, so we were able to make some money on our return trip to Marion, because we had to go through Johnson City anyway. The Grubhub bag is collapsing in on itself, but we have our technique down pat. Sorry if I'm not as talkative or energetic today, guys. I'm just tired. I've done 16 hour shifts, I believe. Close to it, something like that. For uh, This will be the third day in a row. I'm just tired. Plus, I also have been staying up late because me and my wife downloaded uh, League of Legends on mobile and we've been playing that together at night once I get home from work and uh, having some fun on there. So, I haven't got much sleep. <laughs> Well, it's that time again. 154. No, not that. Well, yes, that, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about filling up the gas. It's now 2.01, and we are at, oh, hold on, let me try that again. All right, it is now 2.01, and we are at Burger King. And both the doors are locked, and I guess Burger King's closed. I'm gonna see if drive is open. Maybe they were just dining room is closed, I don't know, whatever. Welcome to Burger King, where are you rule, what can I get for you? Uh, yeah, I was picking up a DoorDash. Okay, she told me to pull forward to the red sign. Did she mean mobile order curbside? There's no other red sign around the building. They had to have meant this. I, I don't know what else they could have been talking about. Uh, been sitting here for 10 minutes. Pretty sure I've been forgotten. I'm pretty sure this is stupid. I'm gonna pull back around drive through. Well, I've now been here 20 minutes and I'm, well, I'm just back at the speaker. That's all I've accomplished is I've gotten back to the speaker and I'm further in line after sitting where she told me to park for 20 minutes and no one brought me my food. That's crazy, guys. That's crazy! You know, why I tell someone to go park at the red sign uh, at the front of the building and that you'd bring the food out and then not bring it out. Why would they do that? Bye. She told me to pull back up to the red sign. I said I was I was already at the red sign and then she told me, okay, we'll just park by the black railing where the red signs are for curbside. We'll bring it out to you. Okay. Uh, the car that was in front of me left 10 minutes ago, man. I would have been through your drive-thru already. What's going on? <laughs> I'm exactly where they've been. It's been 25 minutes. It says be as quiet as possible. We cannot make the car honk honk. If we do, it's all over. that dropped off we made our 61 cent tip and now we're at Taco Bell 
It's a good day. Real good day. Well, a mere 10 ish minutes later, we're ready to go. Now 309. Stuart Ashes and it's the nine mile Long John Silvers order. Alright, Long John Silvers did not disappoint. I know you're probably wondering what about that second drink? Well that one was free. And it's for me to enjoy. Mmm. Oh yeah, it's good. It really is nice picking up from here, and they always give you fresh, refreshing, cold beverage to help cool you down. Not many places do it, and especially the places that give you long wait times. So I'm telling you guys, just getting that drink really makes a difference. I just had him put that new belt on and I still hear this squeaking noise. Well, hello, little friend. Are you gonna hold on strong? Should I move you, little friend? Oh, no. 3.35. Tiny sack of windies, put it in the big bag, yell. It is now 4.13. Next on our list. Alright. Here at Ty D, picking up an order on Grubhub. 
to get inside Marion. I kind of wanted to head away from Marion. All right, Fazoli's just offered us a grub hub as we were pulling up for Cannon, going 10 miles to Murfreesboro. That is what we will be doing next. And I am crashing really bad. I feel like I'm dozing off a little. I have to pull over. Four fifty. that are queued up. So after we drop this one off, we already have our next order. It wants us to drop this off in Murfreesboro, come all the way back to Carbondale, pick up Quattro's, and then drop that off going in the direction of Marion. Guys, I'm 16 minutes from this drop off. That's at least 32 minutes away before I'm at Quattro's. That's great. But we're going to do it. Thanks, Grubba. 5.37. Pre-tucked. Alright, it is now 6.05. We just dropped that order off. They were having a pool party. Pool party behind the house. Definitely didn't record that. Don't feel like getting my account deactivated. But as soon as we were done dropping it off, we did just get a batch order. Hunan and Wild Burger in Carbondale, $22. We're heading back. We definitely am feeling like I should probably stop getting an energy drink if I want to stay safe. <laughs> I have been... And not, not an awful little bit here and there. Not, not you know, too literally, but I'm feeling it. You know what I'm saying? So I, I need to get some energy. Six fourteen. Here we are at the Wild Burger. It's actually just Buffalo Wild Wings. I don't know why they have like. It, I don't know. It, they, they say it's Wild Burger. I want to say it's a ghost kitchen, but I don't know if that's actually accurate. Sound like it shut all the way. Seven oh six. Oh, sweet caffeine, man. I I needed you. Mm. I needed you. I keep trying to convince myself to go home. I've done enough this week. I'm tired. I'm ready to go. That's why I got my coffee. But uh, I saw this Grubhub shift till 8.30 and I went ahead and took it because I knew if I took this shift, it would force me to uh, want to stay out until at least 8.30. So that's where we're at now. All right, on our way here, we got a tequila's order queued up. I'm gonna drop this off and then go do that. This other customer added on a $5 tip, so 
think you grab up. Now we're at Tequila's. All right, well, Tequila's had plenty of time to get it ready since I had this order in the middle of my other one. Well, once again, we have gotten an order queued up on our way to this a drop off. We uh, put this at the door and then we're heading back to Marion finally. And it's gonna have us picking up McAllister's and dropping it off in Heron. <laughs> Seven fifty-nine. All right, McAllisters. We had a long drive. Don't let me down. It better be ready. It is now 8.59. We are here in Buncombe. We're pulling down the road, heading towards the farmhouse, towards our home for the night, guys. So what did we do? What was our total for the day? Well, between DoorDash and Grubhub, we ended up making about $230. Now, we did have to drive to town and then back, so altogether we drove about 270 miles. But overall, not a bad day, guys. Not a bad day. Definitely could have done a little better. But we went out, we tried, we made some money. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and I will see you again next time on Eric DoorDash. Dash on!